Oh, hi. I have no idea why you clicked on this video, because usually I don't upload anything else besides a weekly compilation, so that's interesting. Why are you here? You probably guessed it. It's a new format of me uploading my yapping and complaining. Yippee! Nobody asked for this, but you don't get to have a say in this. Talking about not having a say in this, we are sent to Nostromo Wreckage against a pinhead. Some people call him Xenobite, but it's pinhead for me. So we'll be starting my favorite thing in the world, holding M1. Anyway, see you after that. <laughs> Look at us, here we go, finishing the first generator. Yes, you will catch me moonwalk unnecessarily 24-7, but listen, my brain needs stimulation 24-7 and I am bored, so I will moonwalk. I tried going for the box, but Nicholas already did, so I went to unhook Kate because we don't let survivors die on first hook, right? After unhooking her, I saw that the little guy is coming back. By little guy, I mean pinhead. Starting to chase strong with a fake vault that totally didn't get us hit. I'm trying to figure out where to go because I have no idea where the fuck I am on this map. After comprehending where I was, I went to a loop that felt relatively safe to play around. Then I noticed that somebody was just as confused as I was that day. After the confusion cleared up, we finally begin chase again, in which I really like to keep eye contact with the killer to see what they're doing, obviously. As a result of too much eye contact, I now miss out on him using his ability, which he thankfully fumbled. Subsequently to that, he makes sure to go around the hook to give me some extra distance and to make sure that I'm safe. He can see me use my favorite tech called fake it till you make it. I made that up. It consists of making the killer respect the pallet by just standing still for a split second. Having it done a second time, we were forced to drop the pallet and move to the next tile, which is surely not gonna end tragically. Overestimating the length of the window, I am now on my way to get stuck on a random blorp glorp. Realizing that the only thing I can do right now is spin to win or use deception that I do not have. Snap back to reality after having my snack time interrupted, I will be greeted with Nicolas Cage's beautiful face. To complete the exorcism and get out of chain hunt, we will now be going for the box and full heal. Now that I'm full health, I'm making my way downtown to get Meg off the hook. Failing to realize that I'm still oblivious, I'm running straight into Pinhead's arms. I feel like I'm having a deja vu right now. I have no idea where the fuck I am. Entering an empty map tile, I notice I don't have any other choice besides spin to win. Surprisingly, that worked out pretty well for a while. Having brain rot fully eaten my brain away, I finally make it to a window in fake vaulting it to avoid being hit. Despite all my efforts of not getting hit, I still get hit. With the speed boost of getting my ass beaten, I am now trying to desperately find a tile. Spoiler alert, he just leaves. To make sure that he fully hates me, I am now solving the box, resulting in him leaving Megan alone. Him deciding to break that pallet is gonna give me a bunch of distance to make it to a comfy pallet. Thank you. Arriving at my beloved pallet, I've kind of underestimated how fast this little guy was, giving me no choice but to spongle through this yet again. At this point in time, I'm wondering if I made this guy lose brain cells throughout all of this. After giving him an aneurysm, I decided it's time to drop the pallet and move. Entering main building and passing two or three pallets, I've decided it's time to give this little guy a ride downstairs again. He was in fact not fond of downstairs, so he came upstairs without my knowledge. Scraping my brain cells together, I had to make a choice where to go to. This choice was sadly interrupted by him using his ability. After escaping Stinky Boy's grasp, I only had one choice, and that was this stinky pallet. Trying my hardest to be patient and not get caught off guard, I still managed to drop the pallet after two seconds. This is what happens when your lobotomy is successful. Your brain rots and suddenly you're just mulch maxing. My lobotomy was successful. Running as fast as I can away from this hellish pallet, I am gonna act out my mischievous plan of faking the window yet again. Having done all the generators, time has come for my fate to be sealed by random people. Thankfully, the exercised Nicolas Cage got me off the hook, resulting in me being spared this time. Not only did I feel obligated now to take a hit, I felt obligated to save this man's life. Throwing myself in front of the killer like Nicolas Cage's meat shield, I have faked having more time. Very smart of me considering I'm dead on hook and he isn't. Little do you know that this is all part of my plan, considering this killer is gonna be very greedy. And no, I do not advise you to take a hit when you're dead on hook. Praying to be picked up to save Nicolas Cage, my knight in shining armor Megan came around the corner, giving me a hand in saving Pookie. 
After refueling myself with yummy delicious microplastics, I thought it was time to save my boy. To ensure the safety of Pookie Wookie, I had to confirm that Chain Hunt wasn't gonna be an issue for either of us. Giving my team life insurance didn't seem to matter in this moment, so I rushed into combat ready to take hits for any and everyone. Besides Poopy Boy's surprise appearance was Megan being here instead of the other open exit gate. Oh boy, I wonder how this is gonna play out. Being removed forcefully from the battlegrounds, there was only one that could survive. Take your bets right now. If you guessed Kate, you are correct. Drink it. And with that, the video is over. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more like this, let me know. If not, you can also let me know. I don't mind, even though this is my channel and you're here for my entertainment. Not the other way around. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for coming to Yappersville. And yes, I do read your comments, Pookie Bears. I'm lurking and I'm stalking when you leave. Stay hydrated, stay slay, have a good day. Don't be a just a, so we try to confide, we need to quarter half time.